this one, if I can find what it's called. Oh. My friend wrote that on it, like, a long time ago. <laughs> so, yeah. And my hair is super dark, so it's not going to be that color. It'll be a little bit darker. I'm so excited! <laughs> so, um... I don't think I'm going to film me doing the whole thing, but I might film like in between while the color is on it and all that stuff. And I will put pictures in. So yeah. And then I want to do a video on my hair history with like a whole bunch of different pictures of my past hair colors and cuts and stuff because I thought that would be cool. It'll be fun for me to go back and like reminisce and stuff. Because you always remember like memories from each hair color and stuff. So yeah. So I just put the hair dye in from here down. I'm going to wait the 25 minutes that it says, and then I'm going to... Okay, I'm coming downstairs to put tinfoil on my hair and see if that helps it. Because I'd already put some like on the loader lens and left it on for 25 minutes like it said, and it didn't do like anything, so let's try this. And I will show you when I'm done. So I'm done dyeing my hair, and it didn't do, like, anything. I think it's because I got dark blonde, but I had the box, like, I purchased it a while ago, so it doesn't do all over my hair, so it probably wasn't the best one to do, but it's all I had, so it's still drying, but the ends are pretty much dry, so I don't know. I think I'm going to have to re-go over it. I'll probably do that in a couple days. So as you saw in the previous clip, ombre attempt number one was a fail. So I'm going to use, whoops, I'm going to use this thing. Excuse you! Get! Get! Sorry. Revlon Frost and Glow. I got the Honey Highlighting for Medium to Dark Brown Hair. So I'm excited to use that. Hopefully it works out. So yeah. Woohoo! And then because I'm ombreing my hair, I got some purple sh or purple conditioner for my hair, so it will neutralize the brassiness. And because the blonde is going to need conditioner, con 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 <laughs> conditioning, <laughs> so I thought I should get a blonde conditioner for it. Okay, attempt number two of ombreing my hair. I put the Revlon highlighting kit up to like here, so like where the ends of my short layers start, so it's like that. I'm going to keep it on for 10 or to 15 minutes, see how it works, and then I will put it up more. Okay, so I'm filming this on my computer, so if you saw from the clip before, I did from like here down, and I waited 15 minutes, and then I kind of went like to here. And I kept putting more in because I was separating it because it turned into like clumps. So I was separating it and I would find hair in between it that like wasn't even touched. So I was doing that for a while and then because it was on for like so long while I was doing it, I like just pulled it up to here and was like what the hell. So it's been on for like, I don't even know how long now. <laughs> Probably like 20 minutes or more. So the ends are getting pretty light. So, I'm going to keep this on for five minutes, and then I think I'm going to wash it out. So I'm excited! <laughs> and excuse my look. <laughs> okay, so I ombre my hair last night, and it's obviously fully dry now. I wanted to show you what it looks like. I just did pretty much the ends. Because, um, in a picture that I took while it was on my hair, the ends looked like they were almost, like, platinum. 
so I freaked out and I should have checked the color. This is what it looks like. Let's see if you can see what the back of it looks like. Ah! <laughs> so yeah. 